Okay, I think that might work. Greetings, y'all. It's Farmer Son Prepping. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see my ugly face today, so I'm doing you a favor. So, uh, I tried and tried to figure out a way to get like a, sh a desktop, uh, a way to see what's on my desktop here. My tripod would not look straight down. First time I'd ever tried that, wouldn't do it. So, I've got this phone on a box of milk bones with a stapler on the top, and it's holding it out sideways. So. And the phone's kind of covering up part of the light here, so I've got my light up here shining down, but my hands will uh, make the light disappear from time to time, so I apologize for the lighting. First type of these videos that I've ever done here. Alright, so here we go. My first survival kit that I've ever made here, y'all. Here we go. We're opening her up. Yeah, I did some painting on these. Why not? I had the paint. Didn't take much. I wasn't really trying to do away with the metallic look, but, uh, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw something on there. So you got a little paint on there, a little camo, and, hey, anyway. All right, enter the kit. First off, we have right here, this is a dirty gun cleaning patch. Sorry, y'all. A dirty gun cleaning patch. Why well, throw a patch away when it can make an excellent fire starter? So, uh, a dirty gun cleaning patch for a fire starter. Also, I have a piece of charred punk wood in here as well. So, those are two ignition sources right there. We'll put over to the side here. All right, next up, why is that stuck? I don't know. Uh, we have some acetaminophen, a couple of uh, Tylenol pills there. We have a book of matches. Sorry again for the light, y'all. I'll have to work out some better way to light everything here. A book of matches. We have a bread tie. You know, those wire bread ties. Or some garbage bags come with them as well. These can be pretty handy. Hold things for you. Uh, can be handy in fixing things. So, throw one of those in. Alright. We have a uh, something to write with here. A piece of a pencil. About a half size pencil there. We have... A boo-boo band-aid, y'all. Trying to keep my hand out of the way so y'all can see. A razor blade. Okay. We have right here, this is antibiotic ointment. This is called Bac Bactricin zinc ointment. Sorry, y'all, I know the lighting's crap some brass wire. There's about six or eight feet of brass wire in here. So if you need to snare or use it for fishing or whatever. Also, there's some fishing line right here. There's a weight attached fishing line. I don't know. Maybe ten feet of fishing line. Some salt. It may be hot. You may need to fix your salt intake or you might need it to season some food with all right, we got us a safety pin here, y'all. Some of this small stuff I'll just put in the lid. Safety pin. This is part of one of those survival cards, y'all. Uh, a little spoon and a, a hook. Some more of these little hooks that were cut out of that card. A little tiny frog gig with some more hooks on it. Another little fishing lure there. Here we have a button compass. These are tiny, very tiny. Uh, we have just basically a piece of paper. If you need to write on it, if you need to use it to start a fire, a piece of paper. Okay, come on, get my finger down in here. We have some heavy grade aluminum foil. 
a pretty sizable piece. I've got it folded uh, to fit the can. Can be used in cooking. Can be used in signaling, possibly. A coffee filter. Folded up coffee filter. There is the jig head hook that goes with that right there. Well, so far, this is what we have in my survival kit, y'all. Uh, what do I need to change? What do I need to, uh, do I need to leave things out? Do I need to add things to? Uh, get in the comment section down there. I'm trying to do a little typing. Get in the com comment section down there and let me know what you think about this first little survival kit. Uh... I may have to go online and order some more little survival kit supplies, but these I'm just making for myself. I'm not really making them to sell or give away. These are for myself. These will be added in with probably some caches or something like that. Uh, trying to kind of just get this all gathered together here. Okay, we'll fix all that up here in a minute. Slide that one over. And enter survival kit number two. Again, camo painted tin. Right. This one's a little bit different. I had different stuff, y'all. So uh, give me give me your honest opinion on these, okay? Again, another dirty gun patch, fire starter. This is some uh, fishing line. I think this is Kevlar fishing line right here. A Tootsie Roll. Sugar, sugar packet. Here we have, let's see, get this out of here. Sorry, y'all. We have a whistle. Very loud whistle. Okay. A sticker gum. If I can use a sticker gum, chew it up, get it all sticky, and use it to fix something, possibly, or enjoy the flavor. Try and think out of the box here, y'all. We have an alcohol prep pad. We have a uh, some black tea, Lipton's black tea bag. Got a couple of paper clips in here. Uh, you know, I don't know what you'd use those for, but there's a few of them in here. Some more brass wire. Again, about. I think it's nine or ten feet brass wire. There's your fishing line, so we had both. What's this in here? Okay, it's our coffee filter folded up. Coffee filter has lots of uses in the survival world. But mostly I would assume. Okay, I need an instrument here to get down here below all this. Come on now. Sorry, I'm getting out of the camera, y'all. Some more just paper to write on or burn. And then uh, some more aluminum foil right here. Heavy grade aluminum foil. And then the bottom, I don't know if y'all can see that. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it in there. There's some, there's some duct tape in the bottom on some like uh, wax paper here. So a, bit, a large piece of duct tape. So. That's all we have in this kit. Again, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. What do I need to add? What do I need to take away? Give me some ideas, y'all. So, there we have it. Uh, first couple of survival tins. I will say that I, I two of the six of these have already been used. Uh, instead of putting a pouch in my bug out bag, this pouch right here, I took my fire kit out of this thing here and put them in two of the tins. Uh, they're just smaller uh, and they're more protective of water, keep water out. So I used two of them for my fire kit in my bag. So we only have four left. So we will build a few more of these. We may redesign them, do different videos. Appreciate y'all uh, watching. Uh, God bless you is my prayer. 
And this is Farmer Sun Prepping. I'm giving y'all a thumbs up, y'all. God bless you.